Former Coronation Street actor Chris Hoyle was aged just 13 when he was embroiled in a soap scandal that splashed his face across the front pages of national newspapers. But Chris, now 37, has turned the negatives into positives by forging a career as a playwright, using those early experiences as inspiration in his play The Newspaper Boy. Chris, from Middleton, was playing Mike Baldwin's illegitimate son Mark Redman on the hit soap when he was caught with a small amount of cannabis and cautioned by police back in 1993. But when the press got wind of it, Chris suddenly found himself making national headlines. While it didn't immediately end his career on Corey, by the time he was 14 his character was written out of the show. Chris, recalling the scandal, says, I went from being a working class lad where all my family were so proud that I was in Coronation Street, to being shamed really. At the age of 13 being on the front page of The Sun, and then my Cory character being fizzled out, I just felt like a massive failure. It ended up in all the papers, I remember the mirror headline was, what a dope. It was all getting so big for something that was so silly. Yes, it was a silly mistake as a kid to make but it was such a small amount it would never make the papers now. He was not sacked by soap bosses but he believes it was the beginning of the end of his Cory career. Although reflecting on it now, he feels glad it happened when it did. He says, I remember when Cory said they were writing my character out, I thought my world had ended but I was only 14. I was taken off my Cory contract but because they planned so far ahead story-wise, I was still booked by the day and that went on for six months, but then suddenly I got a script one day and it said my character was moving away. At the time I was absolutely gutted. But looking back, it was the best thing they could have done. If I'd have stayed in the show I would have continued to grow up faster and faster. I had control of my money and I was spending it all on designer clothes and being a bit of a naughty boy. I'd hang out at the Hacienda, I had a VIP card for the Hacienda and I was only 14. But what it did do, even four years after, I couldn't shake it off. Children a lot younger than me would run up to me in the street and shout, GY, GY. After Chris left Cory, he continued acting and went to drama school, landing roles in shows, including Heartbeat, The Bill and Clocking Off. His real name is Chris Cook the name he was credited with in Cory, but when he came to join Equity the name was already taken so he changed it to his mum's maiden name, Hoyle. He laughs, some people thought I was trying to reinvent myself because of the scandal, but no that wasn't the case, it was just when joining Equity the name was already taken. But it was turning his hand to writing 10 years ago that Chris felt he could finally deal with that early brush with scandal. He wrote his debut play The Newspaper Boy, a semi-autobiographical work about a teenage soap star who finds his private life splashed over the front pages of the papers. He says, it's only later on in life that I realized how much it did affect me. For a long time I felt like a massive failure in many ways. Writing my first play ten years ago was a massive step forward in trying to deal with it. The play had its debut in Manchester at the Deaf Institute in 2009, with Chris Oldham Theatre Workshop buddy, Dr. Foster star Saran Jones, performing in the premiere run. Now, the play has been revived as part of the Queer Contact Festival and will be performed at the 53-2 Theatre in February. But whereas Chris's real-life drama was about S, in the play the action centers around a 15-year-old star of a fictional soap in 1992 called Christian who ends up coming out to the nation when his relationship with a 21-year-old man is exposed by a newspaper. Chris says, when I say it is semi-autobiographical, I have to make clear every character is fictionalized in the play, although essentially I'm that lad, I was living that lifestyle, I was going out round the gay village. I was living a hedonistic life silly like the character in the play was doing. The Hacienda closed in 1997 I was only 17 but I'd been going for 4 years, that's how long I'd been going out. My mum never in a million years knew what I was up to. I didn't get ID'd once, I didn't even need a fake ID, I just had the confidence to walk up to the queue at the Hacienda and I suppose nobody thought a 14, 15 year old would be doing that. At the time I didn't see any problem with that. As a child actor on Cory I suppose I had a certain air. I always learned my scripts inside out, I even knew Mike Baldwin actor Johnny Briggs lines, I knew it all inside out, I'd prompt him if he forgot his lines. 
I was sat there in the green room in the 90s surrounded by all these legends around you, trying to do schoolwork. It was so different then. Two years after Chris left Cory, the soap decided to bring the character of Mark back, but it was taken by another actor, Paul Fox. Chris says, they did see me, but they decided it just wasn't going to work. At the time it was tough. It added to that failure, trying to prove your way. I got other acting roles, but nothing massive that made me feel like a success. There have been plenty of soap star scandals over the years, and Chris says the one thing he has learned from his own experience is that you can turn it around. He says, I think you can turn anything into a positive, and hopefully for myself I've done that with this play. The new production stars Sam Retford, Daniel Maley, a former Hollyoaks star Holly Jabos, Sam. Sid all from Shameless, Karen Henthorne and Eve Steele who was in Corrie herself many years ago, playing the character Anne Malone, who famously D when she got locked in the freezers at Freshco's. And Chris remains a huge fan of Corrie, indeed he would love to write for the show one day. He smiles, it's my dream to write for Coronation Street one day, I feel I've got the right voice for it and I absolutely love the show, the storylines at the moment are so exciting. The newspaper boy is at 53-2 from February 13 to 24 as part of the Queer Contact Festival. For tickets, see contactmcr.com.